Thank you for checking out my video. I really love Hatsune Miku and enjoy sharing some of that dedication by making videos all about her. To improve my content, I decided to launch my own Patreon page, where you can support me if you feel like Miku's magic reached you by watching them, with neat rewards waiting too. Link in the description. Well, that's all, and now enjoy the new video. Hi guys, Kevin from Sangide Miku here again. As always, thank you for checking out my newest video. Today's topic of the video will be very simple. I'm gonna show you all of my Miku merchandise as well as my Miku room. This was requested quite a bit already. So let's go and just pretend that you are my personal Miku friend. Let's go! <laughs> So yeah, even before entering my room, you will realize that this right here is a big Miku fan. Let's go. Well, and your opinion probably won't change once you enter the room. One thing you might notice is that while I do have a lot of official merchandise, I also like to share my Miku love by doing all kinds of stuff myself. Well, just like in my YouTube videos. You will immediately see what I mean by that when looking at my door. A lot of these posters don't really exist, I just like these pictures a lot and had them printed by an official printing service. So yeah, all of that is really individual stuff. Even featuring all kinds of stickers and whatnot. So I'll continue by just showing you around in my room a bit. There's official stuff like the Pierre Domico calendar and merchandise from Machika Mirai 2015. Actually, a lot of them. All these pictures right here, these posters, are official ones and are from that event. And another one I printed myself. All kinds of arcade games also featuring Perceiver Future Tone, a world scroll featuring Snow Miku from Snowtown in Sapporo, and my personal Miku collage with so many cute Mikus. This is one of my favorite Miku pictures of all time, so I had it printed out very big and framed. You might know this from my intro. This is the memorial corner of the Miku live concerts I've been to with some of the tickets. I've been to Match Camila 2014, 15 and 16 and also Miku Expo in North America, San Francisco and Los Angeles and here is also some of the confetti that comes down near the end of the concert. And what do you think of that? That's another thing I printed out myself, the intro from Proshiva F. What do you think? I think that turned out pretty nicely. And in this corner of my room there's my PC and a bit more of Miku stuff, but as you can see in my room it's not all Miku stuff, I also like anime, so I also printed out pictures of my favorite ones of them. And I think all of my viewers are familiar with this part of my room. I dedicate this part to some of my favorite producers. Not really Miku related, but these are my favorite seiyus, the voice actors of the anime characters. Once again, easy to see that I like to have personalized things. These are my personal favorite anime characters. And here on the top are some nice memories from my Japan trips. Easy to see that I like to get creative when showing my Miku love. Next though I will show you what you will need when going on a big Miku trip. Of course, the suitcase, maybe something like this, or the official Magica Mida backpack. If there's a lot of sun, or rain, or something for the summertime, yep that's better. 
You might need this in the winter time. There's Tomiko Expo Supporter Badge, I actually donated some money. Oh, how about this accessory? Only when it comes to Miku stuff, I feel like a woman talking about accessories and stuff. This is a card for the public transport system in Japan, the Suica, but here with a special Miku sticker. And you need this if you want to save your game and purchase your vacate. What? Something is missing? Oh yeah! To be honest, I hate this design, but I wouldn't ever throw away a Miku shirt. This one isn't too great either, but okay. This is so true. Custom made again for the winter time. Last but not least, this one was very expensive. Why? It's so bland! What? <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Yep, I have a lot of Miku shirts. Most of these I just bought at the events or in Akihabara. I also have a Miku cosplay, by the way, but I don't want to make you guys suffer by wearing it myself. But I would be glad if my future otaku girlfriend would wear it. Hey, all you girls watching get free uh, accommodation when visiting me. What I really, really love though are my Miku plushies. This one was the first one I had, so it's very special to me and always gets to come with me on my trips. If you want to see some of them in close-ups, just watch any of my top 10s. They're in them alright. If only they would go back to their dedicated spot by themselves, that would be pretty neat. If I ever die for some reason, I wanna be buried like this. What Miku, I'm too lazy? Oh well, let's get busy by playing video games. Apart from my N64 and Super Nintendo games, this is my multimedia library. Some of the Miku concerts. Of course, the video games. Only thanks to this game, I found out about Hatsun Miku back in 2012. Miku V3 and apart from that I don't really buy that many CDs only from my favorite producers like Hachi OGP and of course Dekunina. Sometimes neat extras come with the games and also here is my Vita case, my Japanese 3DS and my German 3DS. The PlayStation 3 controller skin is already pretty crappy, but I really like my again personalized skin for my PlayStation 4 controller. Even if some people's reaction is, oh my god, how can you do this? Why not? Well, and the PlayStation 3 arcade controller. Well, this is actually an official case for the PlayStation 3, of course I designed my own one for the PlayStation 4. It even has a pointless backside. Then of course there's also figures, but to be honest with you, I stopped caring at some point and stopped getting them. But still pretty nice to have. This one is pretty nice though. What? It's important to read sometimes? I guess so. Let's check out some books. There's so many of them, after reading them all, I will be so intelligent. Let's just quickly go through some of them. Here's some amazing K Miku illustrations. Some info to get you started about Miku, if you know Japanese. And of course, the amazing books about the Miku games, with so much amazing content. And then there's some Miku mangas, also pretty cute. Many people know this one, I expect. And very nice information booklets about the Machikamida events. I bought them directly at the events. This 
one I couldn't attend myself, but a good friend of mine brought it for me at the event. Thank you again, Gabriele. Let's uh, sing something together. Yep, I have everything. Miku, help me out now! Don't do this to me in front of all of these people! What else is there? Well, over the years, if you go to a lot of Miku events like I did, you just buy all kinds of merchandise that really is pretty pointless to have, but still nice to have and also a good way to show your support. Like this towel! A Miku card game I will never ever play! Oh, goes through. Never knew that. Hmm. Should look at these more. They're actually pretty nice. Literally pants! Overpriced ones that can project pictures of the characters. I wasn't lucky enough to get Miku. Even a stand for my smartphone. Miku keychain. A bag for up to two of these glow sticks. Only currently one of them inside, but I have three. Some pillows. A Miku drinking bottle. This was an extra for the accommodation plan of Machika Media 2015. And of course something for my warm drinks. And then there are these. In there, it's all kinds of little things. I don't even know exactly what, to be honest. So let's check it out. Got that in Skytown last year in Sapporo. Oh yeah, stuff like a Miku face wash. Why do I have that? Memories like some more of this confetti stuff. And, I don't know, some stickers. More of them. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> a Miku phone case, but... It wasn't really practical to use, but very awesome design. Some pins. Yeah, even dog pins. I didn't have a dog. Gee. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there's some more of the concert tickets. Jigsaw puzzle. Yeah, of course. Totally need that every day. Oh yeah, I guess what I used this one for. Notepad. I think I didn't promise too much when I said this is a Miku treasure case. So what's inside of these? from a visit to a maid cafe. A clear file with all kinds of stuff that you just get at the events for free. More clear files. Miku stickers and cards. I don't even know. Yeah. All kinds of stuff. Not even Miku related. Why am I showing you this? Oh, well, this is. And also a PlayStation 3 skin. This one is probably more of the same. Yeah, some stickers, some files, and clear cases. Tickets for the exhibition of Machika Mirai. Some random stuff, and oh my god. I don't want to clean all this up later! So many clear files, gee. So yeah, there you go. All kinds of merchandise that is nice to have, but pretty darn pointless. But that's just the kind of stuff you get when you're a big Miku fan. This took longer than expected, I'm a bit tired now, so I guess I go to bed now. What? This? Oh yeah, custom made too. Oh, there's another Miku waiting. So yeah guys, I hope the showcase of my room and my Miku merchandise was interesting. If you thought it was, please give this video a thumbs up, comment, share with your friends and of course, subscribe to my channel which is all about Miku obviously, to never miss another video about her again. So, until next time and have a nice Miku day! By the way, it will be an absolute hell to clean up my room after this video. Okay.